Welcome. I am so excited you are here. This is a full body workout. This workout is gonna go by super fast today because it is a no repeat workout, which means we are only gonna do each of the exercises one time through. So you got one chance at each exercise to give it all you've got. And I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time, I am Kaylee, but if not, welcome back. We're gonna get right into our warm up, and then as we do the warm up, I'm gonna try to stretch warm up and speak about this workout at the same time. But if you have been here before, you know how that goes sometimes. <laughs> but let's just start opening and closing the arms. But for this workout, again, each exercise we're only gonna do one time. We're gonna work 40 seconds, and we're gonna rest for 20 seconds. We have three total rounds, six exercises, in each round and the first round is gonna be all about the abs. So we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna kinda of like flip things up on their head here. So we're gonna start with abs. So from here, let's take one arm circle back. Nice big circle here. Breathing, slight bend in your knees. Round two is gonna be all about floor work. So we're gonna add in some exercises to hit the lower body and the upper body. And then that last and final round three is going to be standing exercises. Again, upper and lower body, both. Last one, switch it over, big circles back. Right now, warming up upper body, lower body, and core. Hopefully you had a good week. We were back with the, Rebel, Rebel is over, so this was just kind of like a normal week for us. But I was, I'm, I'm sad Rebel was over, but I was super excited for the beginner workouts. And I am super excited to share the workouts we have coming this week. Last one. Good, and from here, we're gonna take hands on our hips, we're gonna hinge down, and squeeze back up. Down, good, and squeeze. Slight bend in your knee, warming up the back of the legs here. Three more, here's three, two, and one. Good, now we're just gonna twist it from side to side. Warming up the back, warming up the core. You can reach the arm here if you need to as well. We're working nice, slowing through. We're feeling a little bit of a stretch, but not holding the stretches right now. And three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna reach over, and we'll let that arm slide down and back up. Two more, two, up, one more, slide it down, and up. Opposite side, bring that other arm up. We're gonna lower it down, and up. Two more, two, and one. Good, from here, reach it up nice and tall. We're gonna lower it down here to the center. We're gonna walk it over one side, hold it for a second, walk it back center. You can try to drop it down a little bit lower. Other side, dropping it down. Breathing, walking through that one more time. Taking it a little bit lower as you go. Last time here for center. And last one. Good, opening up the legs now. We're gonna twist, dropping one shoulder towards the center. You can press out on your legs as well to get the inner thighs warmed up. Exhaling as you twist. One more each side. Last one. Now we're just gonna bring those heels up to our bum here, warming up the quads. You can march it out, give it a little hop if you want. And then we're gonna get ready to get right in to our abs round. Good, five more, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we're gonna bring it onto the mat. If you have your dumbbells um, handy, we will not use those until round two. So we'll have a one minute break in between rounds one, two, and three. So let's bring it on down. Our first exercise is going to be, we're gonna keep our forearms down here on the mat and we're gonna pull. So down, bring it up. You can use your hands here, extend and pull. So we're gonna work one side and the other, 40 seconds. Here we go and squeeze, good. So you can use your forearms and then your hands for support through this move. 
But again, remember, we only work each exercise one time. So let's make it count halfway and squeeze. Breathing. Whew, that quads are working too on this one. Oh my. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. 20 seconds. We're gonna rest it out and then we're gonna switch sides. So same thing. We'll be down on our forearms as we lift. We'll move it up to the hands and pull that leg in. 10 seconds and we go. All right, let's get ready. Back into position. We go in three, two, and one. Let's begin. Extend and pull. Keeping that core engaged. I'm thinking about squeezing my belly button to spine here. So think about squeezing as you pull. Good. Exhale as you're right up here. Halfway. Thank you. Yes, thank you for reminding us, Pink Flute Eli, to start our watch. I'm gonna do that. Almost there, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Extend it out, you can stretch it back. That next exercise we are going to do, have our feet down, and we are going to do a twist. So it's gonna be a bicycle crunch with those feet on the mat. So keeping our feet down, it's gonna look just like this. So bring that elbow back. I almost think about trying to twist as much to get it in line with my spine. So here we go, 40 seconds. Exhale with that twist. You can make it less intense by sitting it up a little bit more and you won't tap that elbow on the ground. You'll just get the twist, but lower it down. Good. Halfway. Breathing, awesome. Whew. It's a little different starting with abs, isn't it? I'm like, oh, we're almost done. No, we're not. <laughs> we will be soon though. Things are gonna move quick in three, two, and one. Whew. Stretch it out. We are going for a legs up. You're gonna bring your legs up to the sky and we are going to reach and tap our fingertips just like this right down by our bum. Whew. So you can modify it by keeping your feet down and just reach as you can in that position. So that'll be the modification. But 40 seconds, let's go. Get your shoulder blades up and tap, good. You can also modify just a bit here by bending your knees. If not, those feet are flexed, heels towards the ceiling. Halfway, really get it up here, good. Breathing, 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, whew, one. Now breathe it out, we are going into side plank hip drop. So I'm gonna show you the modification first. So for that modification, bottom leg is bent, top leg will be out straight, we'll be on our forearm here. You're gonna lift and lower. If you are not working with the modification, both legs out straight. We're gonna be lifting and lowering. 40 seconds, here we go. And squeeze, working the obliques big time. This is one of my favorite moves for obliques. I don't know why. I mean, you can put your hand here and you can feel those muscles contracting. It's awesome. Just a reminder of how strong you are. Good. Elbow and shoulder are all in line with this position as well. You're over halfway, almost through round one for abs. Speaking of abs, that is what we've got coming next week. We have got an arms and shoulders workout and a glutes and abs workout. It's AMRAP style and I am feeling it. Last one, good. Switching it right over to the other side. We rest for 20, again, modification. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight. Um, shoulder, elbow in line. You can have your hand on your hip or up, but we go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift, squeeze, hold it for a second, and lower. Last exercise for this round. So really let's make it count. 
We're gonna stay on the ground though. <sighs> Breathing. Almost halfway. Good, squeeze. 15 seconds. We're breathing, 10 seconds now. You've got it. Awesome job. Here's three, two, and one. Woo. Breathe it out. All right, so this is where you're gonna need to grab your dumbbells. We're gonna, the first exercise we have are we're gonna have, I'll just show you really quick. Uh, Jason, sorry, it's one minute now because we're in between rounds. This is the one minute timer. All right, so for this first exercise, it's gonna be hips up. We're gonna go right into a chest fly. So grab weights for your chest fly. We're also gonna have single leg glute bridge. So you can think about that for your weights as well. But we will go in 30 seconds. So for this move, the modification is going to be keeping your hips down on the mat and just focus on that fly. So palms are gonna be facing each other. We're gonna lower, we're gonna squeeze. You've got a ball in your armpit, you're squeezing that little puppy. That's gonna help you contract those chest muscles. So if you are ready to go, bring your hips up. We go in three, two, and one. 40 seconds. Down and squeeze. Keeping weight in your heels. Good. Squeeze. Working at your own pace, but controlling that weight down and up. Push those hips up to the sky. Over halfway. We've got push up, uh, push up next, where we're gonna bring our hands up at the bottom of that push up. So I'll show you what it looks like and the modification in three, two, and one. Awesome. So set your weights off to the side. You will not need those for now anyways. All right, so this is the modification. If you were just, you can modify by just doing the push-up. You can do that on your knees. You're gonna be down and up. The full range here, or not the full range, but the hand, the push-up, hands up. You're gonna lower it all the way down. Lift your hands up and push back up. 40 seconds, here we go. Lift those hands up and press, good. Remember, press the floor away from you. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core as you come back up. Awesome, more than halfway. Hey, only one time through for push-ups. So really make them count. If you're working to get them on your toes, try to get at least one, two, maybe three reps in. Five seconds. And up, Ooh. awesome, breathe it out, grab a drink anytime you need to. We are working the triceps now. We're gonna do skull crushers. So you can use one, two dumbbells. We're gonna be laying on our back. We're gonna bring that weight up and down, just like this. So grab your weights. And let's get ready to go. We've got 40 seconds. It begins now. And press, good. Hinging just at the elbows and press, down and up. Exhale as you press that weight up towards the sky. Right now I want you to think about the muscle working. That is the back of your arm. Good, think about it, make that mind-muscle connection. Down and press, awesome. You've got 10 seconds left. Breathing. And one, perfect. Set your weights down. We are gonna go into a glute bridge walk next. You know what, I said we had six exercises. For rounds two and three, we have eight exercises, not six. Six was just for abs. So glute bridge walk, hips are gonna be up. You're gonna march one leg out, the other leg's gonna meet it, you're gonna march back in. So alternating sides here, we've got 40 seconds, let's begin. Good. Walk it out only as far as you can. This is really gonna help, or this is really gonna work the hamstring muscles and help you build stronger hams and glutes. Good, keeping the weight in your heels. 
Breathing, 13 seconds. Single leg glute bridge is gonna be next. Optional is gonna be weight. And in. All right, so let me show you that next exercise. We are gonna cross the ankle over the knee. So, and we're gonna focus all on one side. So we're gonna be down, we're gonna lift, squeeze, hold it up, and lower it down. Optional, you can grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna use just my leg dumbbells just for a little bit more. But we've got to begin, 40 seconds. Here we go. Squeeze, weight is in the heel, and down. Press, and down. Good. Working the hamstring. Hamstring, well, you have more than one down there, but. And the glute muscle here. Breathing, 10 seconds. Awesome, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, shake it out, rest it out, and you've got 20 seconds, and we do the same thing onto the other side. So we're gonna take that opposite side now, crossing that ankle right above the knee. Really focus on keeping your weight in the heel with this move. You don't want it too close to your bum, but you also don't want it too far away. Whew, here we go, 40 seconds. Lift, squeeze. I can definitely tell my other side is a little bit more comfortable with this move. This one's feeling a little shaky. And squeeze. So again, that's why it's really important to work unilaterally time to time. You can notice those differences and work to get those muscles as even as possible. Over halfway, squeeze, good. Also working our balance muscles as well. We're gonna work the inner thighs next, so we'll have two exercises remaining for round two. Three, two, and one, perfect. So let me show you that next exercise. Really gonna target that inner thigh. So we're gonna do inner thigh leg lifts. You can be down on your side, you can be up, whichever you're comfortable with, but that top leg is gonna come across and we're gonna lift and lower. Flexing that foot, we go in four, three, two, and one. Here we go, lift and lower. Don't hold it down too long. We don't wanna take a rest in between each, <laughs> each rep. Comes right back up, hold it for a second, think about that inner thigh, and then lower it down. Again, feel, if it helps you feel that muscle as it's contracting in that up position there. Over halfway, breathing. Good. 10 seconds. We're just gonna switch sides and then we are done with floor work. We're gonna bring it on up. Here's four, three, two, one. Whew, awesome. Shake it out, we're gonna switch it over. Same thing, opposite side, top leg comes up. Flexing that foot. Eight seconds and we go. We're gonna work a little bit heavier when we come up because we've got our squats, deadlifts, all those fun things. Here we go, lift and lower. Again, don't hold it down too long. Halfway. Keep that foot flexed. Squeeze, just a few reps to go. We've got eight seconds. I want you to hold it up for four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, awesome. One, one minute, one minute to recover, and then we are gonna work the upper body and the lower body standing now. So when you are ready, bring it on up. Anytime you need to, do, to dry off, grab a drink, you know what to do. <sighs> All right, so first things first. What do we have first? We are doing a reverse grip row first. So let me show you what that looks like. During this break, we're gonna be hinged at the hips. Palms are gonna be facing away from you, and we're gonna squeeze. Extending all the way and squeeze. So that's gonna be the first exercise. Work in the back muscles. Think about bringing those shoulder blades around your spine, really contracting there. Again, one time through for each exercise. Where are we going? We're going here. 
We got 20 seconds. I'm ready early this time. I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds. Jason's going in on the button over here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squeeze, hold it for a second, and squeeze. Good, back flat, core engaged. Exhale as you lift. Halfway. Wide bicep curls are gonna be next. Ten seconds to go. Focus on that squeeze. Three, two, and one. Ooh, awesome. So wide bicep curls. Palms are gonna be out wide. We're gonna squeeze it up and down. We've got 40 seconds. I'm adjusting my weight because I filmed the arms and shoulders workout yesterday. Biceps shot, okay? We're just gonna say that. <laughs> Something to look forward to. You know how we like to do these 20 minute workouts. All right, 40 seconds, let's begin. Squeeze for just a second at the top and exhale with your squeeze. Good. And up. Halfway. We're gonna hit the lower body next. We're gonna work calf raises. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, so calf raises. You can use weight if you'd like. If you'd like to hold onto the wall or a chair, anything for balance. You can set your weights down and do that. So that's gonna be the modification, is holding onto something for balance, but those shoulders are gonna be rolled down and back. We're gonna lift up onto the toes, hold it for a second, and back down. Controlling it up and down. Let's begin. Lift and lower. Squeeze up. Good. Hold it for just a second. Feel those calf muscles contract, and then let it down slowly. Lift, halfway, squat is gonna be next. Up and down, good. 10 seconds. Hold it up, hold it up. Three, two, and one, awesome. All right, adjust your weight if you need to for squats. You can also do this exercise without weights if you would like. But grabbing our dumbbells, we go in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Down, squeeze the glutes at the top, and squeeze. Make sure you've got your chest up, core is engaged. Halfway, down, and squeeze. Almost there. We're gonna work shoulders next. We've got a narrow press. We're gonna work down and up. Come on, you're almost there. Couple more reps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Narrow grip press. Palms are going to be facing each other. We're gonna have the dumbbells up here. We're gonna lift and lower. So grab weight for that. I'm going down again from usual after yesterday. All right, here we go. 40 seconds and press, good. So with those workouts that I keep mentioning, we work those as an AMRAP style workout. But I know we talked about it and counting reps was a little, a little bit of a nuisance. So I have set it up as a Timer within a timer, shall we say. So that's how we are working those AMRAP sets for our two workouts this week. Good, press, 10 seconds, lift. Good, two, 
And one, awesome. All right, so we are going to do a dumbbell swing. So it's similar to the kettlebell swing that you may have seen where you're bringing it down and up. So keep your back flat, pushing those hips back. We are going to work that exercise. So make sure you're going heavy enough, going in two and one. So get the momentum going and then swing. You wanna think about pushing your hips forward, driving your hips, using that power. Good. It's not so much of a squat as it is you're working to really push those hips forward. So the back is staying flat. Good. Over halfway. This one's gonna get the heart rate up a little bit. Almost there. Good. Three, two, and one. Whew. Awesome. Breathing. We are going into a curl to press now. So we're gonna work the biceps and the shoulders on this one. It's gonna be just like this, up overhead, down and up. Grab your weight. Two exercises remain. We've got our curl to press and then we're gonna do a sumo deadlift. Let's begin. Curl and press. Work at your own pace, but get through that full range of motion all the way down to all the way up. Slight bend in the knee. Good. Halfway, down, squeeze, and press. Ten seconds. So for that sumo deadlift coming up, I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell for that, but you can use two dumbbells if you'd like. Last one, awesome. So grab your weight for that. Again, this is it. This is our last and final exercise. We have almost made it. So for the sumo deadlift, we are gonna start down at the bottom. This is where your knees are gonna hinge as well as your hips. So you're gonna be down and you're gonna bring that weight, pressing the floor away. So we go in two and one, 40 seconds. Back flat, core engaged. And squeeze, good. And up. Don't forget, exhale as you press that floor away with your feet. Good, halfway. And up. Still getting that squeeze at the top here with the glutes. A couple more reps, we've got less than 10 now. And squeeze, let's do one more. Down and squeeze. Oh yes, you did it, we made it. That was our Saturday full body live workout and you rocked it. If you are hanging out for cycling, we will be on that channel in just about 30 minutes. So you'll have time to grab a drink, you'll have time to grab a snack, get some energy in you, and then we will see you over there. But if you were done with your workouts for today, do not forget to grab your stretch. Thank you so much for working out with me. I am sweating. I don't have my water bottle or towel. I forgot it today. <laughs> I'll have it though. Anyways, thank you. I love you and I will see you very soon.